in this video i will be demonstrating simulation of rectangular current pulse generator it is mainly used for testing of lighting arrester or surge arrester before moving to the simulation let me explain why rectangular current pulses are required and uh, what are the basic circuit which will be helping for the production of rectangular current pulses that means what are the needs for rectangular current pulses that means to conduct real time testing of lightning arrester because we need to verify lightning arrester before applying into real time application so it is mainly used for testing of lightning arrester or surge arrester the generation of rectangular current pulse with high magnitude of current can be generated by using a pulse network so with the help of pulse network we can able to produce this kind of rectangular current pulses it is similar to impulse current generator but the magnitude and the duration of the particular wave shape, wave shape is too high so that's a peculiarity the shape itself is a rectangular unlike normal type of the output of impulse current generator a rectangular waves of long duration can be generated using rectangular pulse impulse current generator that's a speciality it is similar to impulse current generator but the wave shape will be rectangular shape and it is having more duration and the peak will be high okay we will be getting high peak with the long duration the rectangular waves generally have durations of in the order of milliseconds with the rise and fall times of the waves being less than plus or minus 10 percentage of the total duration the tolerance allowed on the peak value is approximately plus or minus 20 percentage so that's a speciality that you can directly observe over here what is the objective of conducting the, this experiment what is the aim of conducting the experiment to generate a long duration pulse current for testing the testing purpose of surge protected devices or lightning arrester by varying the circuit parameters like inductance and uh, capacitance the pulse circuit comprises of inductance and capacitance you need to change the values of inductance and capacitance okay then you can change the output as well i could display the basic circuit diagram of rectangular current pulse generator this is an equal circuit and this will be the elaborated diagram now we can observe so this is the dc supply input and rs is known as charging resistor and here you can see lc here another lc and here also another lc this lc network is known as pulse forming network this is the this pulse forming network plays crucial role to generate rectangular current pulse so that is a speciality of this pulse network while designing the pulse network you need to be very much careful similarly uh, rv you can observe here this is one of the potential divider to measure the voltage here you can measure the current by using rsh your lightning arrester will be placing over here so rectangular pulse directly will be applied over the particular test object then you will come to know that whether that particular material can survive or not so that's a speciality of this kind of testing so that is why we will be studying this type of experiment and we will be simulating. Now I will be showing you how to simulate rectangular current pulse generator. First and foremost thing, you have to open your browser. I have opened the particular browser which I require. So please click on virtual lab IIT Karakpur. Immediately after clicking on virtual laboratory IIT Karakpur, then different web pages has been appeared. So please click on the first option, IIT Karakpur Virtual Labs. You can observe different options. There are different options. Technology, CAD Laboratory, Virtual Laboratory, Multi-Phase Flow. Whichever you require, you have to opt. I need Virtual High Voltage Lab. Please do click on Virtual High Voltage Lab. Wait for a while. Now please check List of Experiments. So do click on List of Experiments. Please scroll down. From this, you can, you can find out the required one. What I required is, I need to study the rectangular pulse current generator. I have to generate the rectangular current pulse. So please do click on study of rectangular pulse current generator. So from this window, you need to go to simulator. So all the details are available. Introduction, why this experiment is required, all those things are required, which I already explained. You please click on simulator. Immediately after clicking on, you can observe the animated view of the rectangular current pulse generator. You can directly observe. So these are the different capacitors. 
and uh, these are the different connections everything you can observe very clearly now go to rpcg simulator rectangular current pulse generator simulator please do click on this please wait for a while now this is a simulator then if you want you can read the instructions so a lot of instructions are available then you can read out then equivalent circuit diagram also you can inspect this is the equivalent circuit diagram of rectangular pulse current generator which i already shown now let us do the simulation so before starting the experiment you have to set the parameters first and foremost thing you need to set the charging voltage here they have given 50 if you want you can increase by using the slider you can increase the particular value see likewise you can change 50 to 49 either increment or decrement you can follow okay so let it be i'll be setting 50 okay now cg is the capacitor value if you want you can increase above 3 3.2 i'll be setting 3.2 number of stages if you want you can reduce or if you want you can increase depends depends on the options so i'll be reducing seven stages if you want you can give the value of r1 as per the design let it be 20 similarly lf value also can be given i'll be giving 60 60 micro henry l1 is actually 0.15 micro henry if you want you can increase l1 value can be increased okay let it be 0 0.2 let me start the experiment by clicking on this start experiment thereafter you have to grab you have to press next option that is ground switch see ground switch has been clicked on later charge the capacitor let the capacitor be charged charging process should be started you can observe the charging will be completed I will be getting the green signal that means charging will be done completely. Then you have to trigger the generator. Let the generator be triggered. So you will be triggering the spark gap. Now you can observe the triggering action is in progress. Here you can observe the triggering action will be taken place. Wait for a while. Yes, triggering has been completed. Then I will be getting the waveforms like this. So this is a rectangular pulse rectangular pulse which is having the magnitude you can observe this is the magnitude and the x-axis shows the time period in that in case of uh, microsecond they will be giving in terms of microsecond if you want you can calculate in millisecond also the shape will be similar to a rectangular pulse and these are the parameter charging voltage is 50 kV then capacitance value that is equal to 3.2 microfarad LF that is equal to 60 micro henry lt that is equal to 0 0.2 micro henry lf stand for if you want you can call wave front inductor this will be wave tail inductor then n is equal to 7 number of stages then r is the wave tail that is equal to wave tail resistance that is equal to 20 ohm so these are the parameter we are going to set from here control panel this is the control panel we need to set all the parameter thereafter you have to start then ground switch therefore charge cap thereafter charge capacitors finally trigger generator then i'll be getting the waveform like this this is a rectangular waveform uh, this wave shape will be used for testing of lightning arrestor any type of service devices can be tested can be done the testing by using the setup so this is similar to impulse current generator but wave shape is entirely different by using the lc element uh, we are able to change the wave shape that's a speciality if you want you can save the graph by clicking on this so it can be saved graph can be saved the graph which i obtained if i want i can take the printout and i can keep it in my record so this is the the way how to generate re rectangular current pulse by using this type of rectangular pulse generator so thank you for watching this video please share and don't forget to subscribe